As countries around the world hit COVID vaccine milestones, many African nations remain worryingly behind in their initial plans to provide jabs for their citizens. Africa has so far largely relied on supplies from overseas as most of the vaccines that have reached the continent have come via Vaccines Global Access Initiative, or also known as COVAX Initiative, or through donations. African countries have now a production line with the capacity to produce 50 million COVID vaccine doses per year, a goal set to develop vaccines with African Union member states and secure sustainable vaccine production capacities, a step that will also improve overall medical care in Africa. Moderna, for instance, has confirmed that Rwanda, Senegal and South Africa could all be potential sites for the planned vaccine factory in Africa. It is true that there is a huge shortage of doses in Africa. The biggest challenge remains actually in vaccinating people. As a result, thousands of vaccine doses have been destroyed in African countries because they have exceeded their expiry dates. Others are being returned by countries saying they will be enabled to use them. Countries like Malawi destroyed almost 20,000 doses and South Sudan announced it would destroy around 60,000 doses. The reason is that many countries failed to prepare adequately before receiving the vaccines. Africa is in a very tough spot when it comes to supply and many factors are leading to delays including a lack of funds and trained professionals and hesitancy among the population to get the vaccine, all are holding back the rollout.